What is risk? Uh, risk in the context of this conference, risk is not a definition that you see in ISO or COSO. Uh, risk is not a color. Risk is not a number like 25. Uh, risk is not a word, high, medium, low. Uh, for us and for all the other speakers, you have to appreciate that risk is a quantitative measure of uncertainty. And it can be represented by at least three different types of distributions. Risk, it could be an uncertain event that has a probability of happening or a frequency of happening if it happens more than a single time in a given period, and it has an uncertain impact. And that's basically two distributions multiplied together. To multiply distributions, you usually have to run a simulation, Monte Carlo simulation. So that's one type of risk. It's, it's something that you would normally see in the, in the risk register. Uh, and you can turn any qualitative risk register into a quantitative risk register almost at the push of a button. And I'll give you, I'll give you some examples of that. So number one, risk is some uncertain event that if it happens, and however many times it happens, may have some uncertain impact on the cash flow or some other objective. So that's, that's just one example of what is risk. But then the second example is it could be uncertainty, it could be a set of discrete scenarios. For example, whenever we build a uh, large chemical plant, we always had uncertainty around what would be the taxation uh, regime that the government will approve for that investment project, what sort of tax support the company will receive. And we had a number of different scenarios that were outlined in the legislation, but we didn't know which one we would be successful in getting. So that we, we had five scenarios and each scenario had a different probability of occurring. So that's also a risk. And then of course the final, which is actually the most common risk type in risk management two world, but very rare in risk management one world, is volatility of assumptions. So for example, when, you, when you're building something, your assumption is that the materials will arrive in two weeks. Well, they may or may not. They may actually arrive somewhere between um, you know, 10 days and 20 days. That's a range. That's uncertainty. Or, for example, you are investing in, in, in something and you need to know what is the inflation or currency. And again, inflation and currency, they're not single numbers. They're not single forecasts. They are always range of uncertainty and representing risks as ranges is something that we take as a given when we talk about risk management because representing uncertainty as ranges is literally the only known scientific way to deal with risks 